Hey guys, I am Pixel Dan, and today we're gonna be checking out the vintage, the real Ghostbusters Gooper Ghost, known as Squisher from Kenner. That is right, my friends, it's another one of the slimy Gooper Ghosts. I have taken a look at a few of these vintage real Ghostbusters Gooper Ghosts in the past, such as Sludge Bucket, who's the bubble blowing slime Gooper Ghost, and Squisher here is kind of like a typical slime pit toy in the sense that he traps your Ghostbusters within his mouth and then oozes slime down on top of them. I'm actually really excited to play with this because I never had this one as a kid. I got him for the first time just now to do this video and I'm really excited. You can see he is brightly colored just like the other Gooper Ghosts. This one is a nice bright orange in color. You got stickers up here for the eyes. You got these big old silly looking teeth. Just a very fun looking toy. Only articulation is really on the arms, but you gotta love that classic real Ghostbusters detail because even though he's mostly just a solid color plastic with no extra paint details, man, they always worked in some amazing details in the sculpts. Like, look, you can see his whole body here. You have the legs kind of folded out in front of him, the little feet there. So this just looks like his big old open mouth, and then his belly kind of sitting down here in the front, his gross belly, kind of his legs sitting down up here in the front again. Oh, it's just so cool, and he's got these little spines going down his back. Really, really cool looking ghost. And the way this guy works is he actually pulls apart like this. So it's sort of like a classic plunger here. You would fill his insides with slime right here, and then as you press him down on this plunger, he's gonna ooze the slime out of the top of his mouth, as well as out of his nostrils here. Now before we go any further, do you guys wanna see something gross? I got this guy as a used toy, and he came with some old, dried Kenner Real Ghostbuster slime inside. Look at this. Blah! It's all wet because I had to get it all wet and I had to really dig it out because it was totally hardened inside the nose and inside the mouth. So this right here, what I'm holding in my hands is a piece of history. This is actual Kenner Real Ghostbusters ectoplasm. You can see it's still kind of that pinkish purple color. It's actually disgusting. It looks like, I don't know, it gum, chewed up gum or like a gross dried booger. But let me tell you what, the smell. As I'm sitting there digging this out and I've got it all wet because I'm digging it out, the smell of this really brought back some nostalgic feelings because it still smells exactly like I remember that old ectoplasm smelling. It's kind of amazing. Now, I don't actually have any kind of purpley slime like the vintage Ghostbusters ectoplasm. So for the sake of this video, we're going to use some of this new Nickelodeon green slime because it's some pretty good slime just so we can get the sliming effect here and you guys can see how it works. And our uh, little uh, test subject here is going to be Fright Features Ray. Just because I love this figure and I love how he gets to react to the slime. Ah! 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 <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and take this guy apart. Let's make this happen, shall we? I'm going to open up my, uh, my container of slime here. And we're going to pull out this really bright green slime. Again, that's not very retro Ghostbusters ectoplasmy, but... For the sake of this video, hopefully this will work out just fine. And hopefully this is a good amount. If not, I might have to find one of my other slime sources here. But here we go. We're going to fill this guy up with his slime here. Could probably use a little bit more, but that's what we got. Okay, so here we go. Ray is positioned inside the Gooper Ghost's mouth. We're going to put Squisher back up here on top. Let me get a nice proper shot so we can see everything going on here. Here we go. I'm gonna squeeze it down. Oh, you can already see it coming out of the nose. Oh, yes! Oh, boy. That is perfect. Now, I'm actually worried. Yeah, Ray's actually a little too tall. I wonder if I actually need to get him in a seated position. Maybe, maybe he needs to be sitting down. Here we go. Whoa! Oh, that's all the slime I've got, so it's not really running out too much. Okay, I'm definitely going to get some more slime here, guys. I want to, I really want to try this out. So, oh, look at that, though. Look at the way it's oozing down. See how it's coming out like the roof of his mouth and his nose? Actually, I totally love this. Look, he totally looks like he's just snotting all over the place. Awesome. All right, let me grab some more slime, because I really want to get some good effect going on here. When in doubt, we go for the silly sludge. All right, so hopefully we got some more silly sludge here. 
And that way we can actually get a real good amount of slime coming out of this guy. There we go. All right. Yeah, see, we got a lot of this stuff. And actually, the consistency of this is very similar to that Nick slime stuff. There we go. Okay. Lots of bright green silly sludge. Let's get this guy all filled up here. There we go. He is completely full now. In fact, I didn't even need the whole barrel of silly sludge. So this, this should be a really, really good test right here. All right, here we go. Let, oh, wait, hold on. We actually probably need to put the plunger on this way. Oh, wait, we might have a little too much. <laughs> let me, let me even this out. Oh, this is tricky. Finding the proper slime measurements here to utilize your toy. Okay. All right, ready? Here we go. All right. All right, Squisher, do your thing. Oh, look at that. There we go. I love the way it's coming out of the nose, too. <laughs> oh, man, if we had the proper, like, really, really runny slime, this would be such a cool slime effect. Not that this is bad. In fact, that bright green looks awesome the way it's running out of his nose. I'm just saying, the you know, Silly Sludge is a little thicker and a little slower running than some of the slimes that I really, really like. Uh, but this is still just a really fun slime toy. And you can see exactly how it works. Man, that looks awesome. Look at that. With the slime just coming out of his nose like mucus. Oh, dude. Just what a really, really fun slime toy this is. So much fun. Now, I will say that cleanup is actually going to be a bit tricky on this guy. I can see why mine came with some dried Kenner slime in there. Because look at look at these boogers stuck up here in his nose. Like, you're really going to have to, like, pull this stuff down and out of his mouth there. And here, let's, let's take this thing off. Oh, there we go. We got a bunch of it gunked up on the plunger. And look, see? See how it gets really stuck up there and in his nose? So cleanup is going to be a bit tricky with this guy. But man, he's a lot of fun. Here, we got to do it one more time, right? Here we go, one more time. Look out, Ray, here it comes! Oh no, oh, Squisher is gonna squish his goo all over you. Oh, oh look at that slime bubble coming out of his nose. I love it. Fantastic. This guy is so, so much fun. The Kenner Real Ghostbusters line just remains such an incredibly fun line. I've taken a look at a lot of the individual ghosts, so if you want to kind of relive that, make sure you check out some of those other videos I've done on these guys, especially all the slime features, because man, Kenner worked in a lot of great slime features for their ectoplasm play gel stuff. Uh, guys like Squisher here are serious fun. These are really great slime toys. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you ever had this guy. And don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, my friends.